what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here in this video i want to talk about how ghostface and our new ghostface killers in screen five the chance chances or the possibility of them being from the dark web this is being inspired by all these videos i watch from youtubers like llama arts and mr nightmare <laughs> they put out some of the best animated shorts animated horror stories or just short horror stories in general whether it has to do with the dark web or anything i love those two channels if you want something that's i hope fictional <laughs> and something that could just scare you with with their voices and how they tell these stories i would check out those channels if you haven't already llama arts and mr nightmare they put out amazing horror shorts and some of them are animated and i love those channels and i'm really interested and i love the, the ones they do about the dark web so that's why i have some inspirations coming from them now so i've been thinking what if we have a ghost face killer or ghost face a pair a trio of ghost face killers because again i want to have three killers in screen five i've talked about that several times in my other videos what if we have killers from the dark web and then of course in my screen five as you all know at this point i'm basically being told i have a hard on when it comes to kirby <laughs> i just really want hayden pantier to get that character back i want to see her back in that role i want us to find out that she survived her stab wounds and they were not that severe because they were able to save her in time uh before she bled out but getting into what i want to talk about let's say that again going back to the kirby thing we're going to talk about kirby being at the center of it let's say kirby screen in screen five this is said a few years after after four and kirby is now gone to college and she's graduated she lives outside of woodsboro just a few towns below woodsboro or a few towns away from woodsboro rather and we'll catch we'll she's she's basically living a seemingly happy life at this point she did go through some depression over the events of screen four and her now being in a similar position to Sydney Prescott, which is why she would be a, a very easy person to sympathize with in a screen five. She's now felt what it's like to have a lover betray you from Charlie and also the death of a best friend who also betrayed you in Jill. She has that Sydney, uh, she has that Sydney aspect to her now because Sydney went through that in the first screen movie and Sydney is a sympathetic character as well. So she's living a seemingly happy life she has a boyfriend uh but by the end or over the course of the movie we'll see that she is acting a little odd in, when it comes to this killer so what we'll end up finding out in the end is during her high school years or not high school years but during her time in college her stint in college for four years she did dabble in the dark web she had a couple of friends along with herself and they dabbled in the dark web they ventured out into the into the dark web because you know we kirby is established as being a massive horror freak she's not afraid of anything she's always looking to f find new ways to terrorize herself because other things that scare things that scare other people wouldn't scare her and i could see kirby's character going into the dark web i could honestly see that so she ventures out into the dark web with her friends but of course that doesn't go as planned because they end up stumbling upon a a group chat or a a live stream that comes up out of the blue when they click on a link to a website and there's just somebody in a there's a somebody a cloaked figure standing there and they're trying to let's say kill somebody who's on screen there kirby and her friends are watching in terror they don't know what to do they're just about to see somebody get executed the person the person uh ends up shooting this individual that they have let's say tied up or gagged and tied up to let's say a bed post or something they sit there and watch that person die and then of course in terror realizing that this is real and they have no way of getting out of it because they their mouses won't work they unplug their their laptops they hold down the power button they reboot the router they reboot they reboot everything in sight that has to do with the internet um uh, they think that that's that's all there is to it. they think that's it they they think they're safe they think it's over a few days later those two friends of kirby's they're getting strange text messages kirby at this point is not getting anything but because this person that's going to be ultimately revealed as the killer in screen five they're strategically planning something for kirby specifically uh 
this person here or her two friends rather now are getting strange messages two days later after they just watched someone get executed on a live stream in the dark web they're confused and they're going to kirby and kirby doesn't understand what they mean she hasn't gotten any messages so then her two friends end up going missing and then when that happens then kirby gets her message she gets a text message from a blocked a blocked number or just from some random let's say skype caller or some some type of app that would just be from a random entity a fake account a fake profile or something and it's saying your time's coming soon and then from there that's it that's all kirby hears she goes through the rest of her time through college nothing happens to her still doesn't know what happened to her friends and she graduates college she moves on with her life still living in fear she doesn't know what that text ever meant still does not know what happened to her friends but still she's haunted by that text your time's coming soon or your time will come something like that so flash forward a few years after college now making it let's say six or seven years after the events of screen four and a couple years after college kirby is now about to find out that it is her time and that that this individual is going to decide that her time is in fact now she has a nice boyfriend she has a seemingly normal life until she gets a phone call from her uh from the woodsboro pd letting her know because again kirby doesn't wouldn't stay in the town of woodsboro she lives just outside of the town but she'll get a call from the woodsboro pd letting her know that her parents have unfortunately been killed and this then sparks her to return to woodsboro because again in my screen videos i've made mention that i think it would be interesting if kirby's parents were the opening kill so instead of us getting other other people we get a group of or a set of parents like a reverse of the casey becker opening in the original screen so kirby gets a call from the woodsboro pd that her parents have been killed this sparks her to want to return to woodsboro but before she even goes outside of the door to go to woodsboro and get in her car to drive she does get a message saying that your time is now so now kirby has an interest in what's going on and now she thinks that this person who abducted her friends a couple years ago who are still missing she has nothing she still has no idea who it was she now is under the impression that this person is possibly now the same individual who murdered her parents when kirby arrives they disclose all of the details and she finds out that her parents were murdered by someone in a ghost face mask so now this is not sitting well with kirby at all now she has another ghost face killer on her hands and it might be that same individual who abducted her two missing friends from college because again her two missing friends from college while there's 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 an investigation going on they haven't found them they have yet to find them uh they still don't know where they are but everyone's still looking for them and at some point i, I believe they would stop looking for a missing person at some point they, they basically just rule stop looking for them i i've heard about things like that so i don't know if, how long they will go looking for a missing individual because these people at this point have been missing her two friends have been missing for a couple of years but this would spark kirby to then call in the help of sydney dewey and gail who come into woodsboro to help her we find out that the individual who abducted her two friends and the new killer would be her boyfriend her loving boyfriend who would end up being the younger brother of Stu mocker and then he would go into his whole backstory and then we would go from there i would like to see him get away with it the younger brother of Stu mocker who now wants revenge for his brother's demise not only his brother's demise but how his brother's demise affected his upbringing and how he had to watch his parents suffer because they were depressed about him about his, about uh, Stu's passing and that affected his life ever since he didn't have the best childhood because of that and basically sydney would then become a target because she's here in town now this was all about kirby that that would be revealed his whole motive and everything would just be revealed by the end of the end of the movie and we would find out his two accomplices were actually those two missing friends they were recruited by Stu's younger brother and he's convinced them to now help him take out his vengeance on kirby but let me know what you guys think about all this down in the comment section below and i know what is his gripe with kirby uh that's still a work in progress for me <laughs> but let me know what you guys think about all this down in the comment section below if you haven't already make sure you subscribe 
turn on post notifications so that you never miss a video in the description i'll have links on my social media accounts my facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there to let me know if there's any movies news or reviews you would like me to cover in the future with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video